Barry Hall was known as one of the hard men of AFL, but recently the footy legend and his partner, former High Five star Lauren Brandt, have faced a family tragedy. Now they've found the courage to share a message about it, along with the secret that's helped the couple through their grief. None of us are harder than her. She was amazing. Straight away, your world, I guess, instantly shatters and you feel, you feel fear. And this is why I love him. <laughs> He's faced the hardest knocks and the most brutal blows. But for Barry Hall, this pain is raw and so very real. For years, footy was the AFL legend's world. Now it's family and the bravest aren't on a field, they're right beside him, opening up about love and loss to hopefully save others. And she found something every single day to smile about. She really saw the beauty in, in every situation. So I'm here at the pool and I am going to start my training today. Wish me luck. With her beautiful smile and warm brown eyes, Sandra Brandt shone from the inside out. Stay tuned to see what I am about to do. I am so excited. Married to the brother of former High Five star Lauren Brandt, Sandra's love story with husband Tyron began when the couple were just teenagers. Sandra is your sister-in-law, but that doesn't really tell the whole story, does it? No. What kind of relationship did you have? We had a pretty amazing relationship, very rare. When I was three, my oldest brother Tyron, who was 12 years older than me, saw a girl at a rugby game and decided there's something special about her. That was Sandra and she was 13. And then he made every effort to see her at the dance a couple of weeks later. Um, and from that night on, they were completely in love. The couple went on to have two children, Connor and Allegra, and life didn't get much more perfect. But midway through 2019, their world completely crumbled when 39-year-old Sandra was diagnosed with bowel cancer. And that the stomach pains that she had been feeling for over a year, that was what it was the whole time. But no one had tested her for bowel cancer. It was everything else under the sun. We never thought it could happen to our family. We never thought it would happen to Sandra. A six month chemotherapy course and operations followed. The cancer had actually gone in and eaten the bowel away. The cancer was aggressive, but Sandra was strong too in her battle to beat the odds. A fight this gutsy mum would win and celebrate. In March this year, I was cleared of cancer. Now I can't begin to tell you how happy I was. We had a, a gathering all together and she had a whole new take on life and we thought, oh my gosh, we're so lucky and it was a wake up call to all of us. We almost could have lost Sandy, but she's still here. Sandra and Lauren planned to run a marathon. Her family looked to travel the world, but the celebrations would last just three months. I was told that it has come back more aggressively. It's a different kind of cancer because it's mutated and um, gone to stage four. This time, it was a battle Sandra simply couldn't win. <sighs> it just tore me apart in every direction. My heart was absolutely broken from so many different factors. Well, you be my favourite. I would love to be your Valentine Miller. Hospital stays were back, but Sandra's bravery never wavered. I'm enjoying my hair that I've got going because it's probably going to all come out soon. But it was an extremely traumatic experience. That's the only way to describe it. You know, every time you walk into the hospital, big smiles, no matter what pain level she was in. Mm. It was, um... Yeah, <laughs> she did, did she? <laughs> it's pretty inspiring. Lauren made it her mission to keep Sandra smiling. From a dinner date at a florist... To a flash mob outside her hospital window. While Sandra turned her attention to spreading a life saving message. I just wanted to check in with you guys to see if you have actually done your test 
please go and do your test. The last five weeks of Sandy's life, she was in the hospital. And basically the cancer had spread, uh, resulting in her not being able to eat or drink or digest anything. Plans were made for family members to say final farewells. And Lauren had one last beautiful surprise. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about getting married. And there was three things I knew for certain. There would be me, <laughs> mum, mother of the bride, and my sister mm. as my maid of honour. Mm, sorry. So will you be my maid of honour? Yes, of course I will be. And we're going to legally elope. What? In the next 24 hours with you by my side. Oh, you're kidding me. Not kidding you. But first, a hospital proposal. I've got two beautiful boys. And instead of their mum and dad being partners in love, <laughs> I think we should be husband and wife. Will you be my wife? Will you marry me? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Then, in the clothes they were wearing, it was straight off to a sunflower field for the halls to say, I do. With no fancy ceremony, but with the most important person by their side. She was too weak to even walk. You know, it's a tired had to carry her and stuff, and because there was no fuss, no frills, it was all about love. The secret ceremony was held in February. Two weeks later, at just 41 years old, Sandra lost her brave fight but not before finding out she had another nephew on the way. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. <laughs> Don't give me a hug, man. <laughs> but she said she'll say hi to him and, and have a word with him, make sure he's a good boy for Mummy and Daddy when he comes to Earth. Husband Tyron says it was Sandra who wanted Barry and Lauren to eventually share their story. Uh, Sandy, probably 72 hours before she passed away, we were just lying in bed together and uh, she said to me, when I'm gone at the, at the appropriate time, could you speak to Lauren and Barry and ask them if they could share the story with the public uh, to raise awareness. That is just remarkable when she was so close to dying herself, all she was thinking about was how she could get the message out to help other families. Her, her strength, her grace, the whole way through it, you actually can't describe it. Two friends tested because of Sandra's battle can now thank her for saving their lives. If I can save one life or hear a story of, um, you know, something was caught at an early stage and you were okay, I would be, that would just make my day. So Sandra had bowel cancer. They don't test for that under the age of 50, but you can go to the chemist and buy a bowel cancer test and you can test yourself for it. She's very inspiring to me. As I said, she was going through such a hard time and just kept smiling, always worrying about other people. She was just the best mum. Like, she was always there for us. We could always go to, uh, to talk. Connor and Allegra couldn't be more proud of their mum and the life-saving legacy that she's left. If you're showing the smallest symptoms or if you feel a little pain that hasn't been going away for a while, just go get checked. It doesn't matter, you don't need to be heroic. It's what Sandra would want. So please, just do it. It's an important message and it's brave of them to talk. And Barry and Lauren's third baby boy is due in October.